Mori's Luxury Auto is here today with the new 2017 Maserati Levante. Now what I'd like to do is show you around the interior, some of the stuff on the outside, and then as well provide you with a driving review. So now the Maserati Levante we have here today is the S, which is going to provide you with 424 horsepower compared to the base model, which is about 345. It does make quite a bit of a difference. It seems like there's always power in the rev range, and it'll do 60 and 5 flat, according to Maserati. Now I have had a lot of fun driving around and you can tell this is just as capable on-road as it's going to be off-road. While Maserati only expects about 1% of their clients to actually take this car off-road, you do have a ton of features and different options you can choose if that case does present itself. From there, let's check out the rear seats and I'll show you some of the room. So now in the back seat of the Levante, there is actually a little more room than I thought. Where the headroom is pretty ample, you also have the panoramic sunroof, which looks really good and opens up and brings a bunch of light into the car. If you were going for a night on the town and you wanted four adults, you could comfortably be in the car. I mean, I'm 6'1", and while it doesn't look like I have much room, that is where I was comfortably driving, and it's really nice back here. This lipstick red leather is hard not to like with the black exterior mixed in, and you've also got some USB charging ports for your phone back here if you're driving the kids somewhere, and as well, you do have a decent amount of room to haul some stuff. Now, the towing capacity on the Levante is also 6,000 pounds. That's pretty good for your luxury SUV. So let's take the Levante for a drive. All right, so let's start with sport mode on. Spin around here. So there's two different sport modes. The first one's gonna be just your regular sport mode, which kind of opens up the exhaust and does a little quicker on the shifts. And the second one is gonna adjust the different suspension settings as well as a few other things that make you feel like you're in a Maserati. Now Maserati does call the Levante the Maserati of SUVs, and after driving it for a little bit, it might be hard to argue that. You do have the 8-speed ZF transmission, you've got 424 horsepower on tap, like I mentioned before, gets you to 60 and 5 flat. Now a car that can tow 6,000 pounds, get you moving that quickly and looks this good, is certainly something you're going to want to check out. From there, the red lipstick interior inside with the black exterior, and this one does have the 20-inch wheels, as well as a couple different packages on here. So. You've got your adaptive cruise control, you've got a few other kind of safety features worked in here. And then from the Ghibli, this one does have the 8.4 inch touchscreen. It's a little more user friendly maybe than the Ghibli's was with the new updates, but I'll tell you what, the part that this car really shines is with this. Oh, it just never gets old. That sounds so good, that raspy Italian twin turbo V6 power. I mean. It, it's kind of surprising, you know 0 to 60 in 5 seconds, but it, you don't quite expect it when you're in an SUV. Now if you're looking at competitors, maybe the SQ5 or the Porsche, the Macan or the Cayenne, there's definitely some good stuff in class to compete with this, and over the last two decades manufacturers have found that people want these luxury SUVs. I know Ferrari says they're never going to build one, so this might be as close as you can get to that, and it's certainly a good second place if that's what it falls under. I like the panoramic sunroof in here, I like the, they went right after Audi and their MMI system with this new controller as well, which you can't have in the Ghibli just yet, but I like the way it works. A little tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's definitely nice to have. As well, the controls on the steering wheel, you can scroll through all your vehicle settings, your trip computer, it gives you a digital read of your miles per hour. There's so much stuff in there and it's pretty simple to figure out and straightforward. The phone system, you've got Apple CarPlay in here if you're using Android, same difference there. I mean, all in all, it's a good looking car that sounds just intoxicatingly good. It looks good, I mean, there's room in the back, like I said, four, you can put five people, four be a little more comfortable, but it does get up and go, looks good, sounds good, fits stuff. If you're hauling the kids around, there's definitely room or going up to the cabin and it's capable off-road. Now, while we didn't get a chance to look at that today, I'm sure it will snow in Minnesota this year, and we'll certainly get back out and get one when we get a couple feet of snow. So I'd say get out and drive one, see what you think. 
On behalf of Mori's Luxury Auto, thanks for watching. Now, if you'd like to experience the Levante for yourself, make sure to stop by Mori's Luxury Auto.